Hi, I'm Ali, and you're watching Mosey and Robbo's Glasgow Gold. And he biotics for his camera, two drops a day on his bee, powder on the nose for his feathers, and clean out his cage twice a week. Welcome to the wrap up of day 10 here at the XX Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. I'm Mossy, he's Robbo, and this is Glasgow Gold. It's been a huge day today, Robbo. Uh, fever pitch for the mascots, which has potentially broken down a much loved thistles. We saw medals uh, in the field. We saw them in the ring as well, mm -hmm. Robbo. Yep. And finally, uh, it's going to come down to the wire. The closing ceremony tomorrow will decide whether this has been the best games in the history of the Commonwealth Games. But most importantly, Robbo, people want to know, what have you been up to today? Today, Mossy, we, uh, well, I looked at the news this morning, and as you mentioned there about the thistles, uh, there's no more Clydes. Clydes. Clyde has now sold out. Can you believe it? All the thousands of Clydes that have been made, and we've got two of them here, um, apparently they've been sold like hotcakes. You can't get one to save yourself. They're being put on eBay for 90 quid. Oh, mate, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to make a million dollars, I think. Well, you could. Off these two, we could probably retire. Absolutely. Such is the demand uh, for the Clyde. So, look, that's that's what's happening on the ground here. Uh, mate, we got out today and uh, we had to fix Jumpy. Jumpy was a bit deflated from the triple gold at the track yesterday. Uh, we got him up okay uh, then he's down again now, so he's going to need maybe a little bit more work. But um, Jumpy, he's still with us. One more day to go. Come on, Jumpy, you can do it for us. But uh, Mossy, we pumped him up. We got out to Hamden for the final night of athletics, day seven of the athletics. And, mate, we were blessed with another gold medal. And every day you and I have been out at the track, Australia wins a gold medal. Fact. I'm saying we are the lucky charm. Australia needs uh, needs us in the corner for all future tours, I'd say, Mossy. And we continue to make our way around the track, uh, catching up with all the kids out there and the families, and in particular the, the mums. They were out there uh, always getting photographs with us. We had an absolute ball out there the entire time, Rob. And I have to admit, I've left uh, there today. Uh, we've had our Pashwari naan uh, on, before we uh, got home, but I'm, I'm feeling flat. Right? Yeah. It's well. It's 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 normal for you to feel that way, Mossy. It's uh, late stage com games uh, melancholy. I think they call it. And uh, you just got to be careful, mate. Surround yourself with other people going through it. Stay strong. Uh, and we've got to look at the positives of what we've had before behind us. And we've got the closing ceremony and a few other events to ho to go on day eleven yet as well, which we'll come to. But Mossy, the big news on the track and the field uh, was Alana Boyd in the pole vault, pole vault, and it was wet conditions there at Hamden, so pretty tricky, but she accounted for all her competitors and took out the gold, and that's defending her title from Delhi. How good was that? Unbelievable, Robbo. Uh, and I think there's a factor amongst it here that Australia has taken out every single women's pole vaulting in the history of the Commonwealth Games. Fact. Yep. We've, got a, we've got a complete ownership on those medals. And Mossy, while we were at the Athletics, uh, Unfortunately, we would have loved to have gotten to the Hockey Ruse final. Um, we couldn't make it out there because we were at the Athletics, but we were able to bring it up on the BBC player on the phone, and we got to cheer them home in a thrilling uh, penalty shootout. The Aussies got up, the, the Hockey Ruse, and uh, as you can see, some of the stills here. Amazing scenes out at the Hockey Centre, Mossy. What would be going through the minds of the Hockey Ruse right now? What would be going through the minds right now would be, can we get rid of Cal? Because we think that Cal, <laughs> he's not here with us. We haven't seen him. He was last seen uh, heading out there to uh, try to scalp some tickets to the Hockey Ruse. Right. And here's this little kid that looks like Where's Wally. And uh, all of a sudden, he just keeps hanging on. Uh, but yeah, they'll be loving it. Um, we got an invitation out there to go out uh, to their club they're going to tonight. Unfortunately, we have media commitments that uh, we of have course. to uphold. Of course. And uh, yeah, but they'll be over the moon and looking forward to supporting the Kookaburras tomorrow night. And who knows, maybe even catching up with us. Mate, uh, one other thing I failed to mention, we started the day with a run, Mossy, and uh, you, you might have remembered from previous shows, we, we've spoken about the marathoners and the successful campaign that the Australian marathoners have had at the Double X Games well. Uh, we had Jess Trengove, uh, Marty Dent, Sarah Klein, and uh, and Coach Adam Didick join us, you and I, 
they paced us to a run out at Glasgow <laughs> Park Run. And, uh, mate, that was pretty special as well. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to get me under 25 minutes for the five kilometres, and I kept up for probably about 2Ks. And yeah. I was, I was really struggling from there. Mossy, as we always do when we run with the marathoners, we had a chance to catch up with them in the back seat on the drive home. This time it was the turn of Jess Trengove and Sarah Klein. Let's see how it went. Here we are. It's, we're in the back seat with Mossy. And today we have a couple of marathoners. Mossy, over to you. Yes, okay, we've got Sarah Klein here, and on the far right, we've got Jess Tringo. Big hard-hitting questions. Um, what's been the most favourite thing you've been eating in the dining hall? Uh, pizza at about 2am has been going down well. And what type of uh, pizza would you go for? Usually margarita is what's on the menu. <laughs> Sauce with cheese slopped <laughs> on it at that time of the night. <laughs> and we hear, we hear uh, Jess, you've been celebrating your bronze medal. Uh, each night um, and actually not seeing the night actually waking up in the morning. Is that correct? Oh, I'd just say last night was a bit of a unique circumstance. <laughs> but I took this very seriously, this park run, and I made sure I got my two hours and carb loaded with pizza before bed. <laughs> now, um, as far as your, your bronze medal, whereabouts is it right now? Do you, can, do you keep it on you? It's in, a, it's in the drawers, all locked up, with and the little friendship cup. I was going to say that friendship cup, a lot of people back home have been saying it's like a mince pie cup and <laughs> tried putting anything in it and maybe even going to the, the dining hall and eating anything out of it. We did we did discuss that earlier. Um, I don't know what the best food in the hall would be. I've been getting around the dumplings. Maybe I could use it as a little dumpling pot. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. dipping sauce. Well, what kind of sauce would you have? Soy. Soy, soy <laughs> sauce. Very good. Uh, Sierra, first marathon in a big... Uh, the big stage. Yeah. Um, is it true that you were inspired on by Jumpy, who was uh, jumping along? Uh, yeah, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't. Um, it, yeah, certainly inspirational to see Jumpy out and about on the course on the day. Um, he's been a little bit deflated since, but I think he's done his job. Um, obviously, with the marathon runners, a gold and a bronze. Um, yeah, he's been he's been really inspirational. We came home the other night to a. Um, pretty sad looking <laughs> um, kangaroo at the bottom of our stairs. It was the night he went missing. He still had his tut and scarf on over. though, so he was, that was all right. One thing I noticed, he didn't have his pants on. Should I ask any questions or leave Talk it Talk to Kim. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> now one quick question to go. Um, lots of different countries out there in the village. Who's the coolest country? Australia are the coolest country by far. I think the Jamaicans, they've got moves. They they, were, their dancing is cooler than ours, but I think we're the Aussies, they're a pretty, pretty cool bunch. Yeah, we've, we've got some good personalities, but the Jamaicans at the track the other night, just their swing. Yeah. It was inspirational. <laughs> there you go, they're very much the inspirational Sarah Klein, Jess Trangove, in the back of the Gold Girl Mobile. Check them out! And what about a round of applause for the driver? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Trust us. Here we have Jess Trengove, bronze medalist for Australia. What does she drink when she's been for a run? Naked. <laughs> naked. <laughs> naked water. So she's a naked runner, head man, naked water. Drinking naked water. What a champion. It's, it's the drink brilliant. of champions, folks. Get out there and get naked. Cheers. So as always, Robo, some hard-hitting questions mm. there. And I guess when you're in that intimate space, the uh, the real truths come out and a lot of uh, insights there into the diet that's going on uh, out there in the village. Yes, that's right. Well, it's party time. Once you've done your, on your event, it's just pizza, <laughs> pizza, pizza. Yeah, we can't wait tomorrow for our own party time as no. well. And speaking of the village, Mossy, as we drop the girls home, we try to get into the village. As you can see here... Hi. Here's Mossy, I'm Robo. We're just wondering if we can get into the uh, village, please. Uh, not in, not got proper yeah. capacity. We forgot it, so it's at home. Can't we get it? Uh, it's a little bit fast. Uh, only your automated gasoline and gas. No good. No, good. No. Good. No. Good. 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 Um, and we couldn't sneak our way in there. I had the microphone. That Even that didn't work, the branded microphone. Well, they've been talking, um, been watching our show, and they wanted for me to prove that I was a ginger, and there were too many people around. Wow. Right and yeah, that's right. But they might, to be honest, that's probably the reason why uh, we didn't get in. Well, I'm putting it out there now. Gold Coast Village 2018. 
I'm I'm already put I'm bags my bed. I'm yeah. in there. And it'll be Fanta everywhere for everyone. Now let's check out the uh, medal tally. Yes. Uh, moving on to day uh, eleven tomorrow. Uh, how's yeah. uh, Australia v England, uh, Canada and Scotland? But more importantly, after that, I want to know about Scotch Rally. Yeah, exactly, Mossy. Well, it's uh, it's coming to the late stages of the event, and so if you're looking to make a push to the top of the ladder, you need to really make your move now. Uh, in terms of where Australia are, well, we got four gold medals today. Uh, the Hockey Roos, as we mentioned, Alana Boyd, as we've mentioned, and in the ring, the boxing ring, uh, Andrew Maloney and Shelley Watts, uh, which is fantastic. Scotland, I should mention, they got a couple of boxing golds too, so in they go. Uh, so Australia, 44 gold, England, 56 gold, and so they're easily accounting for Australia at the moment. But when we add in Scotland's 19 gold and we look at Scotralia here, well, Scotralia is way out in front still, 63 gold, uh, 183 total. England, 56 gold, 164 total. With one day to play, Mossy, I reckon you can write the check there, mate. Absolutely, and we saw the, uh, the uh, in the hockey ruse taking on uh, the English, who were up 1-0 mm. until uh, the final seconds of the game with Jody Kenny. Uh, slotted one in the back of the net, and then Captain Madonna Blythe uh, winning the game uh, in the penalty shootout. That got Australia or Scotralia one more medal. Well, this is, and you know what I heard uh, was Jody Kenny was using Scotralia as a bit of a barb, saying, you know, you're not as good as Scotralia, you guys. You you're below them on the medal table, and they got freaked out. They were trying to do the maths, and they got freaked out. Took their eye off the ball, let a goal in with 14 seconds to go. Momentum swung to the hockey roos, and the rest is history. And I want to throw it out there. Possibly we the girls think there was. Uh, 16 in their squad so is that 16 gold medals yes. when we get to Australia well I've only got two more coins here Mossy but we'll throw them in yeah anyway. well that, that really bar blows it out of the water huge shout out to our uh, major supporters out there including our executive producer Why Leaf Town please check them out and find out about what we've been talking about they offer great support to local communities and keeping funds local uh, also want to uh, shout out to Naked Water who's sitting right in front of us, Bar TV and VPA Productions. Without them, uh, it's almost impossible for us to get all the way across here. And in particular, for, to many of you, you've been uh, major supporters for us as well. Now, big part of the show, Robo, some say it should be the opener, is a word from Burns. We've only got a couple to go, and this is Craig Burns in the stands down in Gateshead. Fair far your honest, sonsy face, great chieftain, oh the pudding race. A boon them, ah you take your place, Penic tripe, or tharum, wheel ah your worthy or grace, as langs my arm. <sighs> Robbo, that was a beauty. Looking forward to the last word with Burns tomorrow night. Ginger Games, Robbo, uh, my favourite segment uh, this uh, today. Mm. It was really um, hotly contested, I have to admit. There were many uh, gingers out there winning medals. Yep. Um, but a, a lad who's uh, very close to our heart, he's from the Tassie Tossers, Hamish Peacock, found himself on the podium down there at Hamden. Um, a bronze medal in the men's javelin, Robbo. Yeah, look, he's an impressive ginger. We've picked him up earlier in the year when we spoke to him on the Tartan Couch at the Hunter Track Classic. We got him to don one of the uh, the Jimmy wigs here, the ginger wigs. And uh, look, as you can see from the photo here, I think he he's pretty strong. He's a strong contender here. Um, so look, folks, we're gonna we're gonna call on you to de decide who is the more ginger. Is it Mossy? We're gonna have a look at the hair, Mossy. There you go. There's Mossy. Or Hamish Peacock, as you can see here. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a close one, Mossy. This one's not. This one is not obvious either way for mine. That's not gold. It's Glasgow gold. gold. Hey. Woo! Well, Robo, let's look forward to tomorrow's day's action. It's just one day left of play, and there are gold medals up for grabs. There are netball. Uh, importantly, Australia looking to finally salvage that gold medal yeah. and take that all the way home. And that'll be a lot of, if we can get that, that's obviously uh, plenty more we can throw in the till as well. Kookaburras, men's hockey. I know you're uh, you're big on your hockey, mate. We pretty much can uh, lock that in, can't we? Yep. Good. And the cycling road races get underway as well. And uh, the likes of uh, Mark Renshaw taking part for Australia in that one. Uh, that's going to be red hot. And I reckon we're going to be looking good for some medals in that as well. Um, and yes, yeah, Scotland, I'm expecting them to do some 
business in some badminton and some squash that's going on as well. And I reckon together, well, we can really uh, hammer home the advantage over England. Maybe even Scott Traley could end the day and the campaign with 100 gold medals. I'm putting it out there. Well, that's it. That's all we've got time for today. We look forward to tomorrow with a little bit of optimism as you've shown there, Robbo. Um, we will be providing you with our wrap of the closing ceremony, so we can't wait for that one. And I reckon it's going to be as far as all the episodes that we've uh, done so far. It's going to be an absolute ripper, and the many of you will be labelling it gold. No, Mossy. It'll be Glasgow gold. Glasgow gold.